What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gavin, aka Gavo, aka Coke. Um, just want to invite you to the podcast. But before we get started today, make sure you head over to Facebook right now. Um, look up the Paid and Exposure podcast. If you are a photographer or a videographer, make sure you go find the No More Pie Facebook group. Um, we talk about everything from equipment to give you constructive criticism to everybody ask any questions you want. It's definitely fun, lighthearted. But join us. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this podcast, all right? Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gavin, Coke, Gavo, whatever you're going to call me. It don't even matter. Um, I want to thank y'all. Make sure y'all follow the group. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I am underscore Gavin B. Uh, make sure you follow. Shout me out. Tag me in some stuff. Um, and make sure I follow you back. If I don't follow you back, comment on my picture. Be like, bro, you're going to follow back. And I got you. I promise you, I got you. Um, shout out to Unstoppable, man. Their fall gear is here. Um, Crew Next is about to be on sale perfect time if you need stuff for black friday like when black friday hit go check out their website i promise you you will not regret it also um this is perfect stuff to get christmas gear they have a lot of stuff for entrepreneurs on there and just highlighting people of color um and entrepreneurs and people who give back to their community so i definitely encourage you to check them out um shout out to photo plus man it was about two weeks ago i was there um honestly i went because last year i saw manny ortiz talking about it and he did his overview of being there and i really thought it was dope when he was talking about it and i was like oh i want to check this out and i went you know flew up to new york probably about two weeks after my giveaway uh wedding giveaway be on the lookout for that video it might be before or after this but definitely click on that to hear about me giving a wedding photography away for free and um <laughs> but i went up to new york and i actually had a great time for photo plus um i kind of want to talk about the highlights kind of some of the disappointments i saw in it um and if i think you should go and if i will ever go again you might be surprised by those answers but hey stick around for that um first of all i got there um thursday night the event ends ended every day around like five four or five um so i got there thursday night checked in the hotel got ready for the next day um i knew i was gonna get there around like nine or ten on friday um i got there around 10 30 you know you always got to show up fashionably late so and I actually had, um, I was very, very surprised. Um, it was huge. It was a lot going on. So, you know, you get there, you check in, you grab your bags, you get your equipment, things like that. I mean, you get your stuff. Um, it was cool to me. And I know this sounds stupid. I've never been to a photo conference. Let me go ahead and get that out the way. It was actually cool for me to walk in. I see so many people walking around with their cameras, so many people, you know, holding their stuff and trying on lenses you know, not buying anything necessarily, but just trying to say, hey, when I do go buy this, at least I'm able to see it now. At least I'm able to rent it, walk around. Um, there were several places when you came in that was doing camera cleaning. I thought that was super amazing. And it's amazing being surrounded by hundreds of people that love and do exactly what you do, which I thought was super dope. And it was a great networking event. Um, so as soon as you came in, there was this big cannon display they had a little section where they were doing um clearly they paid the most for their their booth probably because it was as soon as you came in but um uh they had a little runway then they had a little section where they were having like discussions then they had um product displays i um i think the day before the event started they announced the new 1d um which is a new car it costs more than what i paid for my car um, I definitely want that camera one day, but it is an amazing camera. Um, and they have photographers up there who shoot with the previous versions of the 1D and what they were excited about with this one. Um, I thought that was super dope. Um, they had a little runway where they had models and photographers. We're going to come back to that. Please do not forget to listen to that part. Um, and being me, being who I am, before I even get started on one thing, I like to loop the room, see who in the house, see what's going on. That sounds, I mean, come on, we do it at the club. We might as well do it here. Um, so I looped around. I saw Best Buy. I saw a law firm. I'm going to give them a shout out, even though I don't know why. Oh, I can't pronounce that. Um, so they were there. They were talking about copyrights. Um, I saw a lot of stuff with continuous lighting. Um, and, uh, not Amazon, but um, Adobe had a section in the back. Uh, Sigma had a nice, cool little section. Um, there was some doll photography. There were some uh, leather strap companies out there selling things and kind of, you know, getting people's information. It was a lot. Um, my most, and then once you looped around and you saw Nikon and their whole section there. Um, cool thing was, I, my favorite thing about the whole show in general was every, not every, Nikon, Canon, and Best Buy all had um, 
model model setup so you can try out different equipment and shoot um, those models, which I thought was amazing. Um, but, you know, uh, Nikons was dope because they had little platforms that models was able to stand on and you were able to surround them and shoot them and they were modeling for you. And then, you know, um, you, it was able, it was just cool to be in that section and work on that. And then they had a little flyer wall. So if you want to take selfies, things of that nature, um, then they had a keynote speaker speaking. Um, Canon had a little runway, which was totally different from Nikon's where models would come out. They will probably model for like two minutes, turn around, go back out. Another model will come in, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, Best Buy, surprisingly to me, had the best model experience and photo experience um, on their section, which is surprising. According to Best Buy, they are thinking about competing with um, B&H, Adorama, Amazon next year with camera. They want you to be able to come in their store, get your Canon 5D, get your A7 III, like whatever. They want. They don't want you to have to say, I'm a call B&H. I don't, I'm going to go to my local camera store today. They want to be that for photographers, which I think is super dope and smart on their behalf, especially if they can do price matching and um, even offer a deeper discount if they see somebody has a cheaper price. Um, so their model experience was they had a models and probably the nearest photographer, I would say about four feet away from the model. And they was using continuous lighting. I'm going to throw some pictures in here um, of my work that I was able to do. And it was cool to see those models there. Their models were, to me, were the best. Um, the lighting over there was super cool. If you had a Sony, I know you killed because of the low lighting situation. However, it was enough lighting if you didn't have a Sony. I have a 5D Mark IV. And I love my pictures, especially they had a guy. It was kind of like Halloween themed, right? Because it was Halloween weekend. So that's why I think their models were the the creation. Everything was super cool. Kind of creepy, but super cool. Um, Nikon actually had the second best. And I think a close second just because their models were so good. Um, well, it was like two models that were really, really good. The other couple models were cool. Um and it was cool because they had, their fashion was definitely the best, right? So they were coming in, they model up there for like 15 minutes, then they hop down, somebody else would come up or they'd go to a different platform. Super cool. And then they were showing you, um, they had instructions, instructors, excuse me, explaining continuous lighting and showing you what they're thinking of in their mindset when they're shooting. I thought that was super cool. Best Buy did not offer that. Canon, from my understanding, did not offer that. I thought that was super cool. Um, and Canon came in last. Uh, surprisingly, before we even get started there, uh, Sony was not there. I heard it was a bunch of Sony events. I heard Manny was out there. Didn't see him getting run into him. No Sony's were in the building, but I, apparently they had their own events separate from this. It's a little shade, but it's all good. I think it's dope. I mean, it was kind of corny that they weren't there. I was actually wanting to see them there and see. Um, I wanted to actually sit down and kind of use the Sony and kind of figure out like what's up. Um, but I wasn't able to do that, but it's all good. Um, I was actually able to pick up a Nikon and use some of their lenses. Just y'all know how I feel about them. Eh. But anywho, um, super dope there. Uh, back to Canon. I was highly disappointed in their model thing, um, their model situation. One, because they had a runway, which I thought was dope. Uh, it, the models were constantly moving, which while that sounds cool and I know it's a fashion run runway, um, photographers aren't able to get the best, especially with their lighting situation being the worst out of all the other individuals' lightings. They had the worst lighting, um, harsh shadows, um, terrible yellow light. Like it was just not cool at all. And I thought it was pretty whack, but that's a whole nother subject. And I was highly disappointed because you got Nikon kicking your ass on one side and then Best Buy, you know, smacking your ass on the other side. So it was kind of like, eh, you sandwich in between and you looking like a fool. Um, Next thing, one company that I need to shout out was in photo. They create photo albums. Check them out. Their photo albums were mind blowing. Um, I am officially done with Zeno. Um, I have been using Zeno for years. I feel like Zeno is now, um, uh, they lost their flavor, right? Um, I have several books from Zeno. I've wrote them and I complained. Um, I felt like they were up in my lighting, um, my exposure and bumping up the brightness on a lot of my pictures. They claim they aren't, but I, as a photographer, I know what I submitted and I know what I got back. Um, and I'm just not, I'm just not impressed anymore. Um, this company, I have not ordered a sample with them, but I seen probably about 30 plus samples there and I was mind blown. 
and look them up in photo. Um, mind blown. Once I do order samples, I'm going to show you guys and kind of try to give you a in-depth view about how I feel about them. Um, so let's talk about what I didn't like because there's some things, right? So I was not impressed with the amount of people of color involved with this whole event. I you already know where I was going, right? So I didn't see any black photographers uh, shooting. I didn't see any black photographers giving or black or brown, excuse me, um, instructing. I didn't see any black or brown photographers doing photo walks. I, you know, it was a couple of black and brown models. Um, but and I don't have a complaint about that because I want to say it was pretty much I mean, it could have been half and half. However, it might have been like 60, 40. So it wasn't that I'm not I'm not trying to and somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But um, the amount of photographers, um, instructors, keynote speakers and black and brown was not there. I'm sorry. Y'all got to fix that. Like that to me was just it was apparent for me because that's what I was looking for. And kind of like I went down a photo walk and was trying to find, you know, the many if it was 15 black, you know, 15 photo walks. I was trying to look and see, hey, OK, if it's 15, maybe it's six should be black. It shouldn't be three. It shouldn't be whatever from my understanding was zero from what i saw um so i was kind of taken aback from that um even the keynote speakers um speaking of which one problem i have about photo um about photo plus was it was so much going on which is definitely important but the organization of their website their app so much stuff it was so confusing to get lost and it was kind of like if you didn't know you lost and you just kind of just lost um so a lot of the cats, a lot of people I ran into, they were saying, oh, you know, I tried to do a photo walk, but I couldn't find the information. So when I got here at this time, they were pretty much like, no, you can't do it. Um, so sometimes when you went online and you were looking up photo walks, it was like, hey, make sure you register. But there was no link. So I don't know. I think you had just had to pull it out the air, find that link and say, hey, here it is. I'm signing up. Um, Fujifilm was offering a lot of stuff free. A lot of people did not know that they had to sign up and pay $75 for a lot of the photo walks. Um, so that was confusion. Um, also, it I felt like there could have been better organization with on their website saying, hey, at 11 o'clock, you know, on Thursday, here are all the shows and here are all the show times and topics versus you scrolling through, you favorite it, you hoping that, you know, whatever, because there was a lot of stuff where it was like, hey, um, you know, or if they broke it down by company and said, hey, Adobe is having all of these topics here are the time slots because there was a lot of things that if you miss on Thursday, you can hear it on Friday or you can hear it on Saturday. I thought that was cool. I actually like that. However, um, you know, it was because there was a lot of people, a lot of great topics happening at the same time. Um, also, with that, I do feel like I did not miss anything because I didn't go Thursday and I was only there for maybe two hours on Saturday. I was maybe there for three hours on Friday. I felt like I did enough, saw enough, heard enough. I was like, I'm done. Let me go in the city and do whatever else. Maybe that's not their intentions. However, there um, there has to be some consequence for these type of events if you do not make it, you know, on a Thursday. Right. So there should be something that happens on Thursday that, you know, won't happen on Friday, that won't happen on Saturday. Maybe it was. And I'm not saying it wasn't. However, there was no true consequence, because if I miss on Thursday, it was going to happen on Friday. Like, you know, and it, if it was, it wasn't just big enough. Um, also, it wasn't a lot of influencers around like working, working. Um, I saw Frono walking around. Um, I saw Brian Woeful, whatever. I can't remember his name. Um, I saw him walking around. I was surprised these guys were not involved. Um because it would be dope for them. It'd be dope for their channels. It'd be dope. And maybe these guys feel like, okay, I need more money. And maybe they should have been paid, which may be not necessarily a problem. I definitely believe, you know, it's not about what you're worth. It's about what you can negotiate. Shout out to Jalen Rose. Shout out where he at right there. Um, he says that all the time. So that was definitely there. My light went out. That is probably cute. That is time for me to get off of here. So let me know what y'all thought about... Um, let me know what y'all thought about Photo Plus and make sure you check it out. And also, maybe you'll see me again. Will you? Uh, real quick before this video ends, um, maybe. I'm thinking about it. If I go next year, it has to be with some people who I don't, who hasn't been. Um, but if I had to, if I had to go back again by myself, probably not. 
um, unless I know certain people will be there and certain people have to be black. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all next time. Make sure y'all follow everything. I'll holler.